the Alliance of American Football is in the process of a collapse, as the league has suspended operations. The worst part of this story has been the way the AAF is treating its players on the way out. The details emerging have been ridiculous. Robert Klemko started the slew of ridiculous stories, source says AAF teams making players pay for their own flights home. What a clown show this was. Robert Klemko, at Robert Klemko, April 2, 2019 Then on Wednesday night, San Diego Fleet color analyst Rich Ornberger piled on with inside stories, more on the kicked out of their lodgings, amount of money owed to vendors, venues, etc. In San Antonio for training camp is over $4 million, Rich Ornberger, at Ornberger, April 4, 2019 Reserve, injured players, will be left in the cold. They will be paying for their own rehab, medical expenses. High-level staff at the team level received email from the board, no one received the termination notice from an actual person. Rich Ornberger, at Ornberger, April 4, 2019 Team-level staff members were asked to stay behind in markets to clean out office spaces, without pay, and handle, refunds, no clarity who will be receiving those refunds. This is a complete mess, Rich Ornberger, at Ornberger, April 4, 2019 This is absolutely absurd. Players were kicked out of their lodgings, their contracts weren't honored. It would take $20 million for the AAF to finish out his season, but Carolina Hurricanes owner, and noted a hole, Tom Dundon, shut the league down before it could complete its first season. The players will not be paid, their medical expenses won't be taken care of, and they were thrown out of their lodgings. Then they had to pay for their own flights home. Honestly, if the NFL wanted a huge public relations win, it would reach out to those injured players and cover their medical costs.